Okay, hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about how to get the language patch to work for Blade and Soul. So the reason we switched to a .exe file instead of the old files where we just manually changed, swapped out the local .dat's is because this is just much more convenient and much more easier on Huga. Because the old way, it was players from each region sent Huga the .dat files and then he would manually patch it and then send it back to us for us to test and like I tested for the Chinese side or the China servers and that's how we knew if it worked or not and it was really time consuming and really stressful for for Hugo himself so by changing it into this .exe file it's a lot easier because Hugo downloaded all the different clients the China one the Taiwan, the Korean, the Japanese, Blade and Souls. That way he can just update his game normally and then get the DAT files off that. So it'll make the process of updating the files a lot faster. So it used to be, you know, a patch would kick in and it would wait one or two days before we could get the English patch running. And now it should be much faster. So first of all, you want to come to the Google Drive link over here and then it'll be in the description below. You download the latest patch. So you, I recommend checking this website maybe once every, every week because the patch does update quite often or it will update quite often. So after you've up, uh, downloaded the latest one, you can either check out the guide and the video, which you, you can do so here. It's uh, very simple. The, he, Hugo even has a YouTube video about it. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go over some of the things that is not written here. So for the players in China, like, like myself, you need to go on a VPN. You need to do some sort of VPN in order to open up the, the, the launcher. Well, at least open it up fast. Because without a VPN, when you double click on the launcher, it will hang. It'll take maybe two minutes to three minutes to open it up mainly because your ISP is trying to connect to the launcher's, uh, launcher's server and it takes a real long time. So just make sure that you have a VPN. It doesn't have to be the one I use. And then you just double click on it, say yes, and then it will pop up momentarily. See, that only took about five seconds. So once this pops up, it will be here, BNS language patch. So first of all, you need to select what region you're in. So for example, you're in Taiwan or Korea, in my case, China. It will auto detect the path of your game. If it doesn't automatically detect where it is, just hit browser and just put in the, the main file. Like you don't have to find the specific uh, .exe file, just where all your Blade and Soul stuff is in. Just select that folder and it'll be fine. I'll show you right here. So in mine, it is C drive. It's in program files. I just named a folder called Blade and Soul, and it's this one, the one in gibberish, because like this one is Shinyo, which is my ping reducer, but I don't use it. And then this is where all my stuff is. It's where all these files are. So you just select that file. So you can see here that it says here in gibberish, Blade and Soul, BNS, and then gibberish, gibberish, and just select that file. Then after that, you need to know what version of the game you're playing on. If you're playing on the 32-bit or the 64-bit. So in my case, I use the 32-bit. After that's done, you need to check here. It says old version need update. Then you just click the update button. Uh, let me just show you here. You click the update button and I'll start downloading the patch. So I downloaded it before, so it's quite fast. And it's only 10 megabytes so these are all in bytes but it's basically a 10 megabyte download just make sure you're on a vpn again because if you're not on a vpn this will take a real long time to download mainly because you're you know if you're in china especially so just click ok for that then we just click patch once we click patch patch complete that's done then we could just close this once that's closed, you can just open up Blade and Soul. 
So because China, the client actually checks your I checks your IP. So I have to turn off my VPN here. I'll exit it, and then I'll open my blade, and then I'll open my blade and soul. Once you're logged in, you can see everything's back in English and everything is good. All right. So now that we're in the game, we can see that our quest log here is all in English. We'll bring that up. These are all in English. Quest letters, guild, and inventory. So, you know, everything's back to normal. Everything's back in English. And that's it. So, hope this guide helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.